Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. As you can see, it's Saturday, we're at Patrick's and this weekend I've brought the cat who is, as you can see, exploring. Um, because I'm going to be here for a couple of nights, I didn't want to leave the cat in the house herself, so we brought her here. Um, the new favourite place to go is seemingly the top of the fridge freezer. Not quite sure what that's about, but what can I say? Um, firstly, um, what I want to say is to all our friends in America, please take care if you're in that bad weather. Don't try and travel, don't try and do anything different. Um, please just look after yourselves, take care and keep yourself safe and check in with us and let us know that you're okay. Um, as I say, Christmas Eve, the cat's now lying on the table for some obscure reason. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm at Patrick's. Tomorrow we are going visiting, taking presents, etc, etc. And today has just been probably the same as it is for quite a few of you which was when I was coming through here, I had the tick list um, because I had to bring presents for my mum through because we're going down to visit her tomorrow. I then had to go through the tick list for Christmas dinner, for munchies. Did I have everything for the cat? Did I have everything for me? Did I remember the Christmas presents? Did I remember all the other stuff? Um, and I have to say, Honestly, you'd have thought I was moving house the time I got here. It took us, well, I gave, Mandy um, is driving through, so she was taking the van back. So she came through with me. So Mandy brought stuff up, I brought stuff up, Patrick brought stuff up. And then Patrick did another two runs down the stairs to get the ridiculous amount of stuff that I brought through with me. But, do you know, it's just in case. So that's what we have been doing today, is just making sure that we've got everything, hopefully we have. Um, we're also taking to the hospital where mum is, um, rather than take chocolates to the staff. Um, a few years ago my father was in hospital round about Christmas time and we got to know the staff quite well because he was, he was pretty ill. And they had so many chocolates at Christmas time. So I checked with them and seemingly um, the staff have to pay for their own tea, coffee and sugar. So we have two jars of coffee, big bag of tea bags and two big bags of sugar. Going to the hospital tomorrow just to say thank you for looking after mum so well. Uh, we'll go and see mum take her presents, then we'll come back here and I will start Christmas dinner, which will be the first time I have done a proper Christmas dinner cooked thing that hasn't come from Marks and Spencer's because that's where Mum used to always get her stuff. So that's going to be interesting tomorrow in a cooker that I don't know <coughs> because I don't really cook when I'm here. So we shall see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be fine, as you can see. Cat's tail. I see you, baby. Um, so that is tomorrow's plans. We will be sleeping as long as we want and then we will get up and have some nice breakfast and then we'll go and see the Patrick's grandchildren opening their presents and then go and visit mum. Then Mandy will come up, we'll have Christmas dinner and we'll no doubt do a shout out round about then Mandy and I so you'll see us both on the video tomorrow and probably the cat as well. I don't know what it is about sitting at the table, but she seems to be quite happy to come up and be part of this. Don't you, baby? Yes. So I hope you're having a lovely Christmas break. If you are on a break, if you're working, I hope it's not too busy. Um, I hope you have a great Christmas Eve. And we're just, yep, that would be the taking a chance because the cat showed her belly. And she lied, didn't you? Yes, you did. You lied. So we'll just stop with that now. So as I say, I hope you're having a great evening. And for those of you where it's already Christmas, I hope you have a great Christmas day. And I will catch you later. Yay! <laughs> Come on, pussycat. 